सिक्स ए स्क्वायर पिरामिड थर्टी एम एम बेस साइड एंड एक्सिस लेंथ फिफ्टी एम एम रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी ऑन वन ऑफ इट्स कॉर्नर्स सच दैट वन ऑफ इट्स स्लैंड एडजेस इज वर्टिकल ड्रा इट्स प्रोजेक्शन फर्स्ट वी ड्रा द रेफरेंस लाइन फर्स्ट वी ड्रा ए रेफरेंस लाइन here is uh, a square pyramid of 30 mm base side and 50 mm height but it has to be placed on hp on one of its corner so we need to draw the top view first because the solid is resting on hp the, the solid is resting on vp we should draw the front view first so we draw the top view first given the solid in corner position so we need to draw the square in corner position a square in corner position has to be drawn like this so we take the square we need to draw a 45 degree line through this point draw a 45 degree line through this point then we specify the 30 mm base side Yes, we have this point and 30 mm base side, 10, 20, 30. Then we have point A. We can simply duplicate this to complete the square. Say we have this end. We can project this. We can project this. Finally, we can. Take the distances from the center of the plane and uh, place it on the other side. This is left hand side. Go to the left hand, right hand side. Similarly, we have the distance at the top. Then go to the bottom and complete the square. So this is the square in corner position. Square in corner position. We have B. This particular point is C. We have a D. Square in corner position says line joining corner and the center of the plane must be strictly parallel to x y. Line joining corner and the center of the plane. The center of the plane is this. Here is the center of the plane, and here is one corner. When we connect them by these two points by a line, which should be strictly parallel to x y, then only we will get the corner position. In corner position, we have two points isolated. A is isolated and C is isolated. B and D comes together. So we can project this. Then we can project this also. This can be projected, and this can also be projected. Now we can complete the square by joining all the four points. This is the required square in corner position. First line, we have the second line. Then we have the third line. Third line. We have more line for the square. That is A B. We connect this A B. Connect this. So now when we project, we can put. The axis length. The axis length is fifteen. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can put the axis length here, and we can mark the point O dash. There is A, B, C, D, and the central point is O. Now we have A dash, B dash, C dash. 
and to d dash within bracket because d dash is invisible. So we can join all these points and get the initial stage front view. Initial stage is very important. When we draw the initial stage wrong, we, not, we need not complete the diagram. We will go wrong. We can never get the correct diagram by drawing the initial question in the wrong way. So we should take utmost care in giving the exact initial position. This will definitely affect the quality of the diagram that we draw. So we have this. Definitely we can join this also. This can be joined, dark. Then we have the horizontal line that can also be drawn dark. So now that we have drawn the initial equation successfully, it is given that one slant edge is vertical. Maybe we can consider OC or OA. We have to keep this inclined slant edge as a vertical slant edge in the second position. This can be possible only when we use this corner position. What is the rule for corner position? Rule for corner position is line joining, line joining, line joining, line joining, corner and the center of plane, corner and center of plane must be parallel to XY must be parallel to this y then only we will get corner position corner position thumb rule corner position corner position now that we draw a vertical line a fresh vertical line here we try to take the slant edge vertical this is c1 dash so we take the slant edge distance from c from c to o we take the slant edge distance this distance can be taken we take this distance and uh, we place it here so we get the slant edge now the slant edge has become vertical strictly so o1 dash we see from the top o1 dash is visible c1 dash is invisible now what we do we have to just uh, reproduce this isocircle triangle here so the procedure is very simple and we have done it similar problems you see here we take this arc we take this arc here take this arc then we take uh, the base distances these distances we can take this is across the corner distance across the corner distance see across the corner distance can be taken as an arc and it can be made here so when we join this we get point A so this intersection is A1 dash so we can connect a1 dash and o1 dash very well so this can be connected so now that in the new position one of the slant edge oc is kept strictly vertical now one of the uh, slant edge oc stands vertical we can join this we can join these two also Again, we just take the midpoint of this across the corner and we can get the two points B and D. So these are the two points. The location of B and D can be obtained now. It is B1 dash within bracket D1 dash or D1 dash above the line and D1 dash below the line. So now that we join these two, Join these two, 
we get the complete front view of the spire pyramid resting on HP with one corner such that one of its land edge is kept vertical. Now we have one projecting line for this, another line for the two points B and D and one more line for point A. So here are three lines. The first line is through D, the first line is through D, then the second line is through this. Three points. Similarly, the third line uh, goes through B. We get. So here is A vertical and A horizontal. Naturally, you get A1. B horizontal and B vertical, you get B1. C horizontal and C vertical, you get C1. C1 is invisible. O1 is visible. O horizontal and O vertical also comes in the same place. Because slant edge is vertical, slant edge becomes a point in the top view. A straight line is vertical, its top view is a point. Similarly, we have B horizontal, D horizontal and D vertical. So, we get D1. We know the connectivity A, B, C, D, A. A should be connected with B, B should be connected with C, C should be connected with D, D should have link with C and A, C should have link with B and D, D should have link with A and C. For them, all the four points, the common link is O, O A, O B, O C, O D possible. So now we join A B. A B is possible. We join A B. We join this A B. A B is possible. Then we join B C. B C is possible. B C is possible. We join C D. C D is also possible. C D is also possible. Then we join D A. The last point. We need to know the dotted and dark line. So the procedure is very simple. We always, uh, you know, put one arrow mark downward, and we try to view from the top to see the visibility of this top view. We are identify the extreme corners, left extreme corner and right extreme corner. We assume horizontal lines through these two corners. We assume horizontal lines through these two corners. Whatever we have above these two lines, above these two lines, whatever we find out above these two lines, these two lines, they are clearly visible. So therefore, only OA is above these two horizontal lines. Only OA is visible. So we erase this. So we put OA dark. Apart from that, outer edges are always dark. Outer edges are always dark. Already we have drawn the outer edges. So we need not have to bother about that. So only OA is dark. Remaining all are OB. OB is outer edge. OC, OC is a point. OD is outer edge. So therefore, OA alone is dark, AB outer edge, BC outer edge, CD outer edge, DA that is also outer edge. So therefore, we need to draw only OA dark, OA is the dark line, other than that everything is dotted only. So this is the final top view of a square pyramid resting on HP with one corner such that its slant edge vertical. So we draw the initial position, we draw the final position. We have one more step that we have to check the answer. Here is one corner, one point alone on XY line. If a point is on HP, its spread view is on XY line. So therefore one corner on XY, correct? 
we have got 30 mm base side we check the square and it should be 30 mm base side so we should mark definitely the side also we should write this side as 30 mm base side we should write it as 30 mm base side 30 mm base side so this is 30 mark this as 30 30 mm. We have the axis uh, axis length uh, 50 mm. So we need to mention the axis length also. The axis length is 50 mm. So we just uh, make the axis length. We just uh, draw on vertical, and we mention the axis length also. We put the axis length with the horizontal with the vertical line. we can just add the axis length here you can just add the axis length the axis length is 50 mm axis length is 50 mm so this is 50 mm axis length of the height of the square pyramid it is resting on hp we have started with top view first we have drawn this first then this we have taken this to a new position from there we have projected and from here we have projected finally we have this so the condition is one of the slant edge is vertical here is one slant edge oc oc that is strictly vertical because oc is a point in the top view 